Hello, afternoon. Now, management, while we're creating a healthier work environment, what we want to do as we build the trust of our team members, consider member input, right? What does that look like? Like, go to your team members and ask them, do they have everything they need or is there anything they need to get their job done? Also ask them, is there anything in the, work, in the workplace that they suggest should be, be changed around, adjusted, what have you? You know, like, because inputs are very important because now you're including your team members, right? Also, have frequent sit-downs with your team members. Like, get to know them. Like, like connect on a different level. Like, understand who they are so you can better communicate to and with them as well as for them when that time comes. Because you know the character of your team members. Like, this is very important. Like, we're talking about building a relationship here. Mem your team members, like, you giving them a voice. Like, that's very, very game-changing. Consider that. And also consider maybe putting little stationary boxes around the facility where, you know, they can, you know, anonymous, anonymously or, you know, however they choose to present. But, you know, like little drop boxes, suggestions, requests, issues, or like whatever it is. And also, finally, oftentimes there are reviews in the workplace, but usually only if an individual or getting a raise, or they're not doing what they're supposed to. How about how, like, implementing scheduled reviews to let, so your team members can know how they're performing. Like, not, you know, to, you're not doing your job, you need to improve. Like, no, just let them know, how, like, what their performance is like, their, their attitude, like, everything, you know, good or bad. You know, let them know, like, it's not one of them type of deals. I just want, you know, because we're growing as a company, you know, and I just want you to be informed on what your performance levels look like, you know, and potential opportunities that, that could come, you know, as a result of it. However that is or whatever that looks like. And also, even when you have to have a review with someone, let them know, hey, you have to improve in these areas, yada, yada, yada. Be sure to follow up and let them know, man, you improve like, like I'm, I'm, I'm super ha proud of you. I'm happy for you. You know what I mean? Like keep up the great work. Like you, you, a, you are a special person. Like you are perfect for the position that you're in. If you consider another position or you are not sure about the position that you're in or even the company, Hey, my door is always open. Come talk to me. Maybe we can figure something out for you together. Now, come on, man. Think about what that would do in terms of your relationship with your team members. Think about that because we're here in this company together. We have to get the work done together. Like this is like we, we family at this point. Like we spend almost probably more time at work than we do at home with family. So let's create this work family like environment, keeping it professional, holding each other accountable, but also supporting one another. And we doing this thing together. So let's make this place feel like home. Let's make this thing feel like family and let's go out and tackle in and everything that comes our way together as a family in this workplace. All right, come on. Two can tango. But as long as we operate in one, there's nothing we can't accomplish. All right, let's go.